All right, so let's get back to statuses and route them based on statuses. So how are we going to do that? So after the, we don't really need this JSON stringify anymore. And as we saw before that if we have statuses, that means that we have some data. So we will take that as a consideration to display the results option or the results box right now we don't have it so let's do this thing the search all right on search we are supposed to get something and we didn't get it let me see why okay on search where's on search okay on search we got the formatted date set data okay we are not console logging anything but we are getting the data so at this place let's do this that mm, data dot flight statuses and one and data dot flight statuses zero you need to put it in curly braces and you will need status okay so let's see what do we get here I'll have to put this, but I'll do it later. But for now, let's do this. Okay, I think it's refreshed. Two, four, one. Today is date, and let's see what do we get. It's A, so it's in air. Okay, great. So let us make our component here. Do. I'll give this a style. We already have the style, and that is result box. And first of all, we will put a title search result. Okay. At this point, we need so let's put the same thing which we had before data dot flight statuses zero index and status let's just see how the styling is right now and based on that we will do the routing after this so emirates two four one today's date all right great so it's, uh, it's in air a is not arrived it's in air sunday all right okay see great this is great it's landed perfect we we are getting a bunch of data but we are just displaying one of the data so what do we do here we do like we create a separate page and it will be kind of a switch statement and switch between the statuses something like this i will have an index and i'll render it based on status so let me do one thing let me copy and paste this whole thing and I will explain you what it is. Okay, first of all, let me create results and index.js. Great. Okay, so it will route over here. And at this moment, we don't have active, scheduled, and all of them. So I'll just remove it. And show status something like 
we don't have the props right now I'll just remove that as well we do have statuses so let it be where it is flight data airport data airline data we don't have it right now great so at this point we can just have unavailable and or unknown to be precise unknown h1 in air h1 landed and schedule and for the rest we'll just have it like unavailable because at this moment we just care about arrived landed and scheduled so let us do this and in the search page I'll have to do this thing that I'll have to call it and we'll have to pass props to it so result let me see if I get something I am getting this is imported and I'll need to pass status so status will be uh, I should have copied and pasted data dot flight statuses zero index and status great so if in any case this is undefined flight status we won't even reach at this point so there would be no undefined error so that's good all right so let's see to we are just checking if the result section is functional let's go back to the code not the code the view and emirates two for one two in air awesome landed that's great all right so that's pretty perfect so let me just go through what we did here and what we can do at this point we just have a function which is which is returning a function and this like it's returning as well as calling this function so in this function is basically a switch statement and it checks based on statuses and at this point we can create or call different components based on the view which we want so there can be a component called unknown js there can be there will be a component called active j.js another component will be scheduled.js and the last one would be landing.js great so these are the components which we care for right now and we will display it and the ui would be pretty straightforward and okay so that's great i don't want to extend this video for too long so in the next video we will put in these components and check what do we get all right so see you in the next video bye take care